Hi guys. Okay. In my last video, you would have seen a junk paper roll that I made. Now, a few people um, asked me questions about how I did it because I think I may have not explained it very clearly. So, I know I showed this phone book at the beginning of the video. Um, now, this phone book, I actually glued all the little pieces down onto the phone book pages. So this was my my base and I just pretty much glued all little scraps down to cover the phone book page and I left the back of it blank because I'll tear the pages out as I go and then I'll decide what to do with the back at the time because I don't know what I'll use the pages for until I do the project. Okay, with my scrap paper roll, I didn't I didn't have a base to glue it down to. It was really just uh, paper piecing. So, you know, I took one piece of paper and glued it to the edge. And then I took another piece and glued it to the edge or to the bottom. And just kept doing that until the roll got longer and longer and I rolled it up as I went so I thought I would just quickly show you um sorry if I didn't make that um clear on the previous video but yeah a few people asked me so um I thought I would show it um plus I thought I'd show some of the junk that you can use I mean we've all got different papers but um with this junk paper roll, basically anything goes. I just, I, I really do use any crap papers. Now, these crap papers are straight out of my, um, you can't see it, but beside my desk, I've, I've actually got a big box of just absolute crap papers that I just throw in there. Sometimes after a project, I might throw little pieces as well I don't mean to because I do have a separate <laughs> little uh, little boxes there for smaller pieces but um I just picked some of it out and I had a few left over from this roll as well that are in here and um I'll just show you what I use and what I did okay um I'll show you the papers first okay so I mean, of course, junk mail. Um, I, I typically don't like shiny junk mail like this. It doesn't glue very well. Um, but sometimes it's okay if you sew it or you're going to paint over it and seal it and that sort of stuff. But this pizza brochure, I quite liked it because it's black with white writing instead of white um, background with black writing. So I thought that would be interesting I've still got a bunch of deposit and withdrawal bank uh, bank, ugh, bank deposit and withdrawal slips um, I don't even think they use these anymore I don't know I've got some envelopes that have uh, well this one isn't interesting but usually if I get an envelope with an interesting pattern inside I might chuck it in here um, those are all just blue. They're different blues, but I'll pop them in. Oh, another deposit slip. Um, bills. So I've gone through and just crossed off the personal details, name, address, and account number and everything. But um, over these, I'll just, <laughs> I just usually glue a bit of book page um, to hide that. And this is just the bottom part of a bigger bill. I've just torn it off. Um, because the bigger bill had too much personal information. So I didn't put it in this pile. But I will use it for other stuff. That top half will still get used in junk journals. Um, these are express post envelopes. They've been used. I've just stuck book page over the address details. Same with this smaller letter. This one had an interesting inside. And I'll also use the front because it's got a pre-printed stamp on it. Another express post 
I like I like these Express Post. Um, bank statements. So, again, I didn't use the front page of the bank statement because it's got all personal information. But this was the back page, which is mostly blank. And this portion just had some interest rates. This is actually from 1997, <laughs> this one. So I've just torn the top off, which had the name and account number on it. Um, so there's no personal information on this bit that's left. But it's got a nice pink page that you can still use. What was this? I don't like this type of junk mail, but I do like things like this. <laughs> it's stupid. There was like a little coupon-y thing here. Well, it's not a coupon. I don't know what you'd call it. But something like this. I, I don't know. I do like prices and things like that, so... Sometimes you need to glue over a little piece, like I said, a, an account number or something. <laughs> you just glue something with a bit of interest on it. So this I won't use the whole page, but I may like rip these little guys off. Just because I think they look cute. Is that it? Yeah, see the rest of this I'll put... Um, into the recycle bin mind you if you're a junk journaler i think it's good that you do use real junk like this in your journal without covering it up because depending what happens with your your completed journals you may want to pass them down to your kids or grandkids and i think it's interesting um in many years time to look back at what was sold and the price of things so like now we all love you know magazines and newspapers from like the 1940s and 50s and stuff um, because the adverts and prices and all that um, and that will be the same for your children and grandchildren in many years to come they'll look back and say oh pizza was only this much back then okay these are some pages out of um, a children's learning book or something I don't know where they're from I've got a lot of school crap from uh, the grandkids and also from my nephews so this was a brochure on bullying that was sent home but it's got some nice green page and it's got white on green now, it doesn't look nice like that, but when you cut pieces up on your junk paper roll, it'll look interesting. School notes, they always print them on nice, bright, colourful paper. School notes, school note. <laughs> I've got so many bright coloured school notes. There's also these bright orange pages they send home sometimes. Is that it? This one. Oh, that's got nothing on it, but... Yeah, look, they're great when you chop them up. Um, application forms. I don't know what these are from. I just collect papers from everywhere and everywhere. Anywhere and everywhere. And people also <laughs> give me junk papers <laughs> because they knew, know I collect them to use in journals. So, <laughs> um, yeah, application forms. These, nice colour. And there's a lot of blank space on there as well. So... When you cut down your pages, you'll have writing space as well. I think all these little boxes and tables and tick boxes look interesting once they're cut down. Oh, this was a license application form. That must have been from my son. That's been kicking around my craft room for ages. Oh, some more blue pages. More school notes. Okay, I don't know what's in the rest of this pile. I hope there's nothing embarrassing because um, I just grabbed it out of my junk paper pile. Oh, this was left over from the previous paper roll. So was that. Um, this, oh, I wouldn't normally throw this in this pile. Maybe I threw it in there because there is... 
a map in the middle. Okay, we'll use that. Oh, this is quite interesting as well. Pin-up competition. What is this? Bright's Iconic Road Run 2018. I have no idea where I got this from, but whenever we go somewhere, you know, I always collect brochures and everything, and I don't know why, because I read them, then they just become junk journal fodder. But this is interesting. I'll make a pocket or something out of this. Let me throw that. That shouldn't be in this pile. Oh, this was left over from the previous project. Um, this is pretty old, I think. Sports action camera. I found this. Um, it was still in its little box. It was a, a camera we had like oh, years and years ago. But um, the little pages, I will use those as well. I know it's it's ridiculous. You could just keep everything. Oh, these are some pieces of dictionary that I must have been cutting words out at some stage. I don't know why. I don't typically do the little word thing. You know how people put, I don't know, they might make a journal card or something and they'll put create, inspire, love. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like the little cheesy words. Having said that, <laughs> I did find these with some little metal things with some words. Love, dream, believe. I pulled them out of my junk jewellery pile so I could do some little journal covers with them. I don't know. I don't like the cheesy words. <laughs> They're just not my thing. Um... These were out of some children's book by the looks of it. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Some kid's book. Children's book as well. What is this? Simpson, Simpsons Comics. Little People. This is one of my grandkids toys years ago little bus I'm not sure what this was out of oh yes I do know time management book oh gosh I hate those self-help books um but they're good to pull apart because they got you know nice little samples of handwriting and stuff like that um I think this might have been the grandkids painting in my craft room one day I often just give them junk paper and paint and let them go for it while I sit here and craft um oh, more stupid pizza brochures all we ever get in our our junk mail is so boring we get pizza and real estate I probably kept that for this red on white writing so I'm gonna keep that but I'm going to ditch this okay what else oh this is some toy that the grandkids had I always keep the little instruction manuals is it a toy I didn't even know speed storm I have no idea what this was but it looks interesting. It's blue. Oh, this is one of those little navigator things. This is so old. <laughs> I don't know. I must have reached the bottom of my junk paper box at one stage. And it's got really old stuff. This is... What year is this? Sorry, this is now like a walk down memory lane for me. 2009. <laughs> uh, this is a bus timetable, 2009. I don't even think they print them anymore. Oh, okay. I kept this because it's got a cool map in the middle. I've got a pile of these actually from uh, my dad's place. Uh, this is just some maths... Um, I used to tutor maths and science years ago. Got a whole bunch of notes and stuff. Uh, Sudoku. I will say that 
um, I'm the best at Sudoku. I'm just going to give myself a wrap, okay? <laughs> there isn't one that I can't solve. I, I just want to put that out there. Okay. <laughs> I don't usually give myself a wrap for, for stuff, but I will say that I'm just the best at that. Um, not that that's something to brag about because they're so easy. It's just stupid. Okay, what else? This was also from a kid's game. James, if you're watching, this is that stupid game you heard me playing the Spider-Man one. Pop it. <laughs> Pop it. Pull it. Twist it. Oh, I hate that Spider-Man. It makes the most annoying sound. Um, children's colouring pages. Oh, gosh, this is old. <laughs> I remember these. We kept getting around tax time. We keep getting these brochures in the mail all the time. And seriously, they'll put one in every couple of days. And um, even if I did need my tax done, I wouldn't use them just because they're so annoying with their junk mail. Anyway, it was blank on the other side. And once I saved them all up and coffee dyed them when I coffee dyed papers. So um, encyclopedia page, map on one side. Oh, it's got some pretty pictures. I probably saved this to use those on tags, but we'll use it. These are coffee dyed papers. Um, probably my daughter's university notes where you can see the ink ran. Um, but I like the effect. I've, I usually use these in collages and for stamping. Oh, get a paper with paint on it. Maths textbook. I don't know who this was, but I will say, <laughs> I really hate when people highlight stuff in textbooks. <laughs> I'm one of those nerds that likes my textbooks all nice and neat with no scribble and um, writing. I don't know, this is out of some book. Oh, parts of envelope. Look, I've used part of this yellow envelope already and I saved these two pieces. See, this is... <laughs> This is an illness, honestly. Um, I have no idea why this paper was painted purple. It was probably the grandkids at it again. Oh, this is from rolling off my Brea when um, I was jelly printing. I think this was my sister years ago with my nieces. Colouring in book. Oh, <laughs> um... These are magazine pages where it's got puzzles and stuff. I think the little boxes look interesting. Now, I'm not a fan of putting magazine pages in these paper rolls because they're really thin, but the other side I don't care for much, so I'll just glue something on the back and that on one side. Uh, McDonald's paper bag. Actually, I think I used some of this in my last roll music papers honestly every pile of paper i pull out has music papers in it this is out of a magazine oh this was recent this was a um one of the university alumni magazines that they sent out i think i kept this because it had celebrating the past inspiring the future after I just said I don't like words. Um, I think this was in the same magazine. Yeah. I kept it because it's white text on blue. And same for this. White text on maroon. And I think once you cut those little pieces up, it'll look nice. What else? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Some sort of encyclopedia page. Oh, this was out of a wedding junk mail pack um, that came in the mail. Had some nice little colours. But again, it's glossy. I, I don't like the glossy. Um, oh, they're the beginning pages out of a dictionary. We'll use that because it's coloured. And what is this? 
some renovation brochure. Actually, I think I used, it was a three page um, brochure. And I think I used the other one in my last roll. Anyway, you get the idea. And also I used a spattering of book pages um, sometimes to break certain things up. You know, if I had two bits of white paper, I might put a book page in between to break it up. Now, I'll make a start on it. I won't use all of this because it's way too much. This will go back in my crap paper pile. Um, but when I made my roll, um, it was really long. 12 metres or something, I think. But... Um, it's the previous video, if you haven't seen it. And I'll put the link in the comments box below. Um, now, I didn't sit there and glue a whole bunch of papers in one hit. The same with the collage phone book. I didn't sit there like a crazy lady and glue it all down. I just... Um, with the collage phone book, at the end of the day or the end of the week, you know, there'd be all these stupid little scraps everywhere or, you know... I've got these never-ending piles of little <laughs> paper scraps and um, I was quite disciplined for a while and I would glue them all into my uh, phone book as you can see it's got out of hand again um, and the larger pieces of junk papers I would glue onto this so I kind of did it as I went you know if this came in the mail today I would glue it on I wouldn't just um, sit there and glue like a whole stack of papers or I might put it aside on my desk and have three or four or five pages and then just glue them all at once okay let's get started stop talking now you'll need a couple of clips and I'll show you why as we get started um, just while your roll gets started not let me just check I moved my mat okay just to get your roll started um once it's big and meaty, <laughs> it's got enough weight that it won't unravel. Now, a lot of people ask me what glue I used. Mostly I just use glue stick. Um, but to be honest, it whatever I had on my desk at the time is, is kind of what I use. Um, you know, if I had a glue stick sitting here because I was working on something, then I'll just grab this. Um, if this were like right here because I was working on something, I would use this. This is just PVA glue in a little squeezy bottle um, with one of those really fine tips. So um, if you use PVA from a, a fine tip bottle, you know, you just get a very little line. So um, it's, it's not too bad. It doesn't wet the paper so bad. And, um, you know, PVA glue dries quite hard and it's not flexible so it's not typically good to use on papers you want to fold but if it's from a fine tip bottle it's not too bad or I mean I may even have used some um, this is just a, a craft glue um, but it's acetone based um, usually I, I only use this for certain things but I mean I may have used that as well just any glue you're just gluing junk papers it, it really doesn't matter <laughs> anyway to get started I used an A4 sheet of paper which um, I know in America I don't think you say A4 it's just a standard photocopy uh, paper and I just it looks like I glued it around the roll I thought I had taped it but anyway just to get it started Okay, and then I just glued crap down. <laughs> okay, let me get started. I'm going to use some of this yellow first. Now, I was not precious about this either. I just, I don't cut, I don't measure. Um, this is A4 anyway, so I don't need to cut it up the top. Typically, I won't glue this whole page down. I could. But I don't because when I go to cut it to size, um, you know, as I'm cutting it, if it comes to here, then the bulk of my page will be this same yellow. So a lot of the time, if I've got a full page, I will just 
rip it in half that way or the other way. And then I'll put this aside to use further along in my roll a little. You don't have to spread it out too much because if you're cutting it to um, A4 size to use in journals, then, um, you know, you only need to wait a little bit longer to use this. You know, I wouldn't use it as the third piece along, if you know what I mean. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Anyway, you get the idea. I also didn't care what way I glue it, if it's this way or this way, because I'm using my pages just to go in journals as is. Um... You may want to use your papers if you make one for something else. But I'm just using mine as junk journal pages. So I'm going to cut them up and both sides will be shown anyway. Now, things like this, actually, I don't want yellowed next to yellow. I'll use that in a minute. Now, the, the idea for me is to use these junk papers. Um... So I quite often tear them in pretty big chunks because I just want to use them up. And sometimes I glued from the front and sometimes I glued from the back. Just depends what I'm gluing down if I want. Whoops. <laughs> Actually, this is kind of hard for me to do all in one hit because I've got a choice of papers, whereas before... I um I was just gluing rubbish down as I got it so I didn't really have um a choice of papers. Okay, I'm going to um maybe just rip this one there. Now, I did try and line it up top and bottom as I went, but sometimes um it goes a bit rogue. Oh, shit. I'm going to get rid of this raggedy edge. Um, just because I want my papers to sit flush. Okay. Maybe I want that bit at the bottom. getting glue on my mat which I try not to do as I glue because the next page is going to stick to it Now, I didn't measure mine as I went last time. And then once it got 
quite big I decided I wanted to measure it and I unrolled it to measure which was like a nightmare because it was this huge mound on my desk um and it was really hard to roll back up where's my ruler I've lost it already oh gosh okay so this time I'm I'm going to measure it as I go and the best way to do that wait let me let it get a bit longer I've no room on my desk this is driving me crazy let me move that over the way so this one I'm going to measure as I go because <laughs> you don't have to I just I don't know I've got some weird thing I'd like to know how long it is okay I'm going to throw in some book page Any scrap paper <laughs> project that I do, I put book page in because I have way too many papers that I, I really want to use up. Oops, I can glue that bit. Way too many book pages. So any opportunity to get rid of one, I will <laughs> take it. This one I didn't sit properly. Ah! Why is that not sitting? I can't see properly because I'm too far away. I feel like that's not flat. It's not. Let me just glue this. Sorry, hard to see what I'm doing from here. <laughs> I don't know why this page isn't lying flat. Doesn't matter. Get on with it. Okay. What else? I've used that, I've used that. Okay. Now, I wasn't too precious with things like this. Just rip, rip, rip. Cutting this because I don't want that bumpy edge. Right, glue this one on this side. See, there's a bit of a buckle there. I haven't glued it flat. That's okay. Once you cut it, you kind of don't notice. Now, I did try and um, keep it level as I went. It's, it's a bit hard to do, though, but I just trim it as I go so that the bottom, bottom pages line up. Now that's white. If that bothers you, you can just put something small on top. 
and sometimes if I've got something really thin like a receipt or really thin paper I may put it on top to get rid of that white space sometimes I might just put something else down like a receipt or something we'll see or you can just leave it because um oh that was just a little book of receipts I've got you can leave it white and when you cut your pages up it may fall into place where it doesn't really matter okay what do I want to put there put this Sudoku thing. I'm just going to trim this off. Usually I would leave these on. I just don't want to muck around gluing it at the moment. Okay, let's measure this baby as we go. Hey? I had a little piece of paper here. Okay, now to measure it as you go, this is 30 centimetres. the way I <laughs> measured it after I unraveled it um, just had this little paper on a clip that I moved along as I went so now I can start rolling up if it's dry um, I didn't have a problem with it drying and sticking to itself because when I made my first roll I was just doing a page or two as I went every now and then every couple of days at days I didn't sit here and <laughs> glue this whole roll like I am doing now so I hope my pages don't stick but I think they'll be okay I should probably wait till it dries as well Okay, now I've got this clip. Um, someone asked me where I got this. This, I think it was just from the hardware. Um, from the hardware store. I used to use this clip years ago when I did assemblages. Just, you know, if you glue two bits, to, bits of plastic or something together, um, I'd clip it until it dried. And on the other end, I've got a clothes peg. And that's it. That's This is all I pretty much did. I just <laughs> glued and... Okay, see how there's a gap there? I, I'm not going to put this here because it's white on white. And that's going to bug me. Let's use some of this. Um, sometimes if it was too big for the page as well, I didn't care. I just let it go over, like say this one, or I could put it there. But this paper's quite thick, so I'm not going to put it there. I think I'll just put it this way. Okay, what am I going to stick in the middle here? Maybe this? No. Okay, I might put this, but I think I'm going to do it from the back. Or... 
see how this is a normal A4 height. See how much I've already gone off track? <laughs> That's why it's really hard when you roll it up. I, it ends up going over the edge because um, it's just hard to keep in check. Okay, I think I'll put this guy here. say it, it's a lot easier to do this as you go instead of sitting down and um, doing it all in one here I feel like doing it this way you tend to think about the placement too much okay I've got some little bitty bits I want to use up but they don't fit there okay what can I put in there Just put a piece of this, hey? I'm not loving that there. Unfortunately, you tend to make more paper scraps as well. That's okay. going out of line a little a lot okay let me see if my camera is still on oh it is gosh probably still not with me how interesting it looks on both sides I just love it little overhangs like this I don't know why this is just a, a quirk of mine little overhangs like that sometimes bug me so I have these little <laughs> papers that I um little scraps that I just rip up and glue over I don't know why it's stupid because I suppose that's still an overhang but Okay, what else? Yeah, I must say I don't like having a whole pile of papers here to do because I'm I'm shuffling. Stop shuffling. And I'm thinking of placements. Look, look, stop thinking. I don't do this if, um, I don't think of placement if I'm just doing this as I go.
Okay, I'm going to move my little marker up. Oop. Move it down here. Okay, I'm 60 centimeters long. Let's roll this baby up a bit. getting too big up that top side I might trim it a little because I've gone way out of whack okay get on with it Actually, one thing I forgot to put in here was some brown paper bag. Did I have some? Yeah, I did somewhere. Can't find it. I'm going to get rid of this envelope. It's been kicking around. For too long. Anyway, I might leave it at that because I think you get the idea. Now, now I'm kind of addicted. I can't stop. Let's cover that little piece up. Oh gosh, it's quite warm, um, and this glue stick is so soft and squishy. Like that little piece. And I mean, you don't have to use this for journal pages. You can um, stamp on it and make it kind of like a masterboard stamp on it paint on it cut it up for tags whatever Now, I did some sideways um, pages as well, some triangular angle pages. See, I don't like that piece there. I don't know, you probably don't know what I'm seeing. <laughs> Okay, 
Now let me just show you how I did the sideway pieces. Um, Pretty much did that. Oops. <laughs> okay, I didn't do it like that, but you get the idea. I'll just leave it like that. was not a good example but you get the idea okay you can kind of see a triangle on that side <laughs> there's some solid color I really want to get rid of this orange. I'm kind of sick of looking at it. This orange page has seriously been floating around for so long. Anyway, so it looks a bit mishmash there, but um, if you watch the video of when I chopped up my previous roll, they kind of come together really nice. I just love them. page on book page. Let's use some of this. That, um, if I glue that there, it's only a tiny bit on that edge, which I don't want to do because um, it may come off. So I think I'll glue that up the top instead.
Mm. Yeah, it's a bit more difficult when um when you've got a pile of papers in front of you. I might use some of this. Okay, I might put this one on and then um, call it a day. <laughs> okay, this is what I mean. If you've got a pile of papers, you're going to like stuff around with it like this which I don't want to do yeah much easier if you just have your roll and as you find a junk paper glue it on so you're just not thinking about it you just have to glue it down Smooth my little marker up. Whoops. Okay, up to there's 90 centimeters. It's another 10, so it's already a meter long. Okay, let's roll this baby. love it i can't tell you how much i i just love these stupid uh junk paper rolls especially once you cut them up the cut pages i just thought was so cool okay oops see i've got a little bit lifted there because i rolled it before the glue was dry but i'll just um <laughs> squirt some PVA down in that gap. Okay, I might leave it at that. I think you get the idea. And just save all your junk papers to glue down and make your own junk paper roll. Anyway, when this one gets big enough, eventually I'll um, show you what I did with it. Also, if you've got little odds and pods of things, like, okay, I've got this receipt book that I've been trying to use up for ages. Um, sometimes I will just randomly glue down... The receipt or let me show you some other things that I've got aside that I can just glue down as well okay so receipt you can see through that but I'm not fast what else Okay, up here on my shelf, I've got all these stupid little things that I <laughs> stick there. Um, <laughs> like, okay, like this. This was off a pawpaw. I don't know. I'm just going to glue it there. You know the stickers you get on fruit? Yeah. 
usually stuff like this I save for those I don't know if you ever saw those really junky swing tags um I made once or those uh I think I made some little folders maybe or journal cards I'll go back and find the video link and I'll put it in the comments box below if you want to have a look um, another thing I always really like is um, barcodes <laughs> these stupid things off uh, express post envelopes things like that I've got little bits of washi tape that um, you know you can just get rid of on it so it's not just your junk papers you can just put random <laughs> scraps postage stamps you name it glue it down okay I'm gonna leave it there um, I really hope hope you make a junk paper roll as well where's my lid gone and um if you do if you've got a YouTube channel um tag tag me if you put at and start typing Bonnie and Clive you'll see my name and then you click on it that'll tag me in so I'll I'll know that you've tagged me and I can um I'd love to see your junk paper rolls because you know we all have such stupid um like different stupid junk papers and I, I would love to see yours if you make one or if you don't have a YouTube if you're on Facebook um tag me as well I'm on there as Bonnie Wood okay that's it thanks for hanging about i'll see you later bye